Welcome to the course of the solid state electronic devices. Today we are going to discuss the module number 9 that is negative conductance microwave devices. The topics which we will be covering are the introduction to all these negative conductance device, the impact diodes, qubit diodes, trapid diodes, OLED that is organic light emitting diodes and the fin fat. These are the two terminal devices which can be operated in negative conductance mode to provide oscillations and amplification in the microwave frequency circuits. So they operate at a very high range of frequencies that is a microwave frequencies. Three types of transit time devices namely exist are the impact diodes, qubit diodes and the trapid diodes. All these are based on a negative conductance and they differ in the method in which the ne negative conductance is achieved in each of them. To begin with, here we start with the impact diodes. The name impact comes from the impact avalanche transit time diodes. These are the negative conductance device. These are utilized they utilize the transit time of charge carriers to produce negative conductance. These diodes operate the basic operation of these diodes have two phenomena that is the generation of the charge carriers by avalanche breakdown and number two that is the drift of these carriers across a long intrinsic region. The structure of such a device is N plus P, I, P plus, where I is nothing but the intrinsic layer. The arrow depicts the flow of the charge carriers. Though the impact diodes are very useful for the high frequency operation, they have some major disadvantage. The process that governs the charge carrier injection, that is the avalanche breakdown, it generates a large electric noises which disturb the proper operation of the device and its circuit. So the alternative was searched to solve this problem and this is the qubit diode, that is the quantum well injection transit time diode and it uses the resonant tunneling, that is a quantum well to inject the charge carrier. The device structure is as shown in the figure. It has the N plus gallium arsenic layer, undoped gallium arsenic and the N plus gallium arsenic. The trapid diode also that is the trapped plasma avalanche trigger transit diode. The reason of using the word plasma is that in this device the electron hole plasma is initiated during the transit of the avalanche zone. The structure is the N plus P, P plus between the anode and the cathode. If the large current is suddenly applied, the electric field difference wave moves through the device faster than the carrier velocity. Thus the avalanche zone moves through the region filling it with the electrostatically neutral electron hole population known as a plasma. The plasma is built up and discharged cyclically which gives rise to efficient microwave power generation. The last negative conductance microwave device which we will be discussing is the fin fats. The fin fats basically introduced to cater two needs that is the performance and the variability. The term fin fat is used to describe a non-planar and double gate transistor. It is built on an SOI substrate. The design is obtained from fundamental design technique of single gate transistor design. The thin silicon that is a fin is used to wrap the conductive conducting channel. The channel is what constitutes the body. The fin is responsible for the device characteristics. 
The thickness of the fin determines the effective channel length of the device. It is measured in the direction of the source to drain. So when we give the positive voltage at the gate, electrons start moving from the source to the drain. This flow of electrons can be shown in the figure, a side that is a gate structure for the fin fed. Now when we don't give any positive voltage at the gate, the electrons stop the flow from the source to the drain. As it's shown in the figure. The numerous advantages of fin fets. The key performance criteria for any transistor is how well it can be controlled the current leakage when the transistor is switched off. So common devices suffer from current leakage and also certain short channel effects. But FinFETs overcome such disadvantage and they preserve the battery life and minimize the power consumption. So thank you. Here we end with a discussion for the negative conductance microwave devices.